Wow, you don't look your age. Your skin is glowing. Wow, you have no wrinkles. But not many people know that I was in a really bad condition just less than two years ago. Now, first of all, what's good skin? Or better yet, how about healthy skin? Because in order to get good skin, you got to keep it in a healthy condition, which is clean, bright, smooth, and youthful. We just need to learn how, but it's never too late. So let's get right into it. Number one, good lighting. Wait, what? Nah, I'm just joking. Well, half joking if you will, because it does help you look much better. But I digress. Okay, let's get back to the real deal. Number one, nutrition. It's true when they say you are what you eat and your skin showed. When I first determined to get my skin back to a healthy condition, I learned to first cut sugar, especially refined sugar, completely out of my diet. And also all the junk food like french fries and chips, they all had to go. Added sugar and refined carbs are highly inflammatory and it leads to development of acne, acne outbreak, and lackluster tone. They also accelerate the breaking down of collagen in our skin, which makes us look much older. For me, the result was quite evident. My face cleaned up dramatically in just two to three months. But of course, it's not as easy as just cutting sugar and refined carbs altogether. We also need to consume food that is good for our skin, such as avocados, berries, nuts, salmon, and vegetables. We need good fat, good protein, antioxidants, and minerals to maintain not just for skin health, but overall health. It's interconnected. And if you don't know how to deal with your already damaged skin, like using the wrong product or touching and squeezing your pimples, which cause further skin damage, it's going to worsen the situation. Number two, proper home skincare routine. Look, it's impossible to cover everything in just one video, but basically the proper steps would be to cleanse, exfoliate, hydrate, treat, moisturize, and protect. You don't necessarily have to do all the steps at once, but everything kind of revolves around these steps. If you want to see how I do my skincare routine, I have provided the links to my other videos below so you have a better understanding of how it works. And by the way, I'm telling you that you don't need expensive products for better results. You just need the right product. Number three, go visit a dermatologist. Sometimes your skin problems could stem from some hormonal imbalance or disease that you're not aware of. I went to visit one a year ago and had a consultation with a professional and got a few scans done on my facial skin. The dermatologist gave me a thorough analysis using my scans. That was when I realized and could actually see how much skin problems I still had at the time. Problems such as tiny facial warts, broken capillaries, scars, and enlarged pores. So it's not the end of the world because there are ways to deal with all these problems thanks to modern medical technology. And everybody has their own issues. A one-on-one -on -one consultation can help you understand your skin much better. A dermatologist will show you ways and a clear path to healthy skin. It's funny people spend thousands on super expensive, luxurious facial products, but they cannot afford to see a dermatologist once. Number four, go see an esthetician. Okay. This is almost like getting into uh, indulging territory. As I said, I'm trying to be as honest as possible. Yes, I have visited a several estheticians and I had some treatments done. 
anesthetician can give you a different perspective than a dermatologist. Yes, I have tried treatments like radio frequencies and laser to stimulate collagen introduction, correct some skin damage and scar tissues. I mean, it's an investment since I'm in front of the camera quite a lot. Is it necessary to everyone? No, but they do provide a little extra to get ahead of the skin game. An aesthetician can help you with your skin problem specifically, precisely, and profoundly. The only problem is, it's not cheap. Number five, common sense. I mean, if you just randomly ask people, everyone can say that in order to have good skin, you gotta you gotta sleep better, you, get, you gotta quit smoking, lead a stress-free lifestyle and drink more water, etc, etc. But the problem is, it takes quite a lot of self-discipline to keep these up. So it's something that everybody knows, but not everyone can do. And to be perfectly honest, I'm still working on sleeping better. I'm just not a good sleeper. And I'm also working on maintaining my daily water intake. It's hard. I, I know it's hard. We just have to do the best we can. That's all I can think of for now. It seems like a lot of effort, but you know what? If you make it as your habit, like brushing your teeth every day, then you wouldn't think of it so much as a hassle. Instead, it becomes part of your lifestyle. Let me know if I have missed something. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me across social media platforms for more fun content. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.